Welcome to a brand new chapter in our videos. Now the really fun part about this set of videos is that it's really going to utilize everything we've learned up until now. Okay, all of the drawing videos, all the technique videos, the drapery, everything's going to come together in here. And this is some, this is an area where you can start making money. I'm going to introduce you to two of my characters. First one is this machine. This is a tablet PC. Okay. And it's a, it's a buddy of mine, and we I'm going to be drawing a lot on this for you, but painting mostly when we get into the rendering part of our characters. This is my version of Don Quixote. Uh, who is he? He's crazy. Uh, what does he do? Uh, he's looking for the impossible this dream. This is my version of Amadeus Mozart. And uh, I've designed him to be... See, I've got all the model sheets that we're going to be using because I've already designed him. But... My version of him. He's immature. He's a genius. He's we need to do our bizarre. research. And what's a better place to do research than YouTube? What does a conductor do? What do they look like? How do they do what they do? All right, let's try this gentleman and see if he's got a little more drama in his soul. Let's try this. Okay, here we go. I think we found a good one here. Oh, let's go back. Hold on, hold on. There you go. Right on the beat. So basically, he's got... He's looking up this way, so i got to be real careful. I don't want to damage my computer. Can you see it? So, there's the head and he's got this angle happening. Let's bring it like that. See? You got this arm coming down. Bam. Okay. And he's going with it. See? He's looking right at you. See how simple that is? There's the pose. Okay? So this is what I'm looking for, you guys. We're going to have a lot of time to detail this later. What I need is action. Okay, so while we're gone, here is just some poses. Just simple, simple sketches done from the, the video. So here is our gesture from the video. And here is our cartoon character. Same who, what, why, and how. We're just altering the shapes. All right. And here we go. Here's our gesture. Here's our finish. Okay, very graphic. So this is our gesture. And this is our structure. Moving on to the face. What we have is a model sheet. So what we've done now is we've taken this simple box and turned it into the top of a skull. On this cranium, we're now going to put in the eyes. Okay, so let's say it's looking this way. You start with a dot. And you work your way out. Do not work your way in. If you work your way out. You See? Isn't this fun? When I do a model sheet, I'm very thorough. So here it's just an entire part of the model sheet dedicated just to the nose. Okay. See how that works? There's your septum. There's your fulcrum. See? It's kind of a fun guy's cartoon mouth. I remember men don't have um, upper lip. Okay, now it's a good time to take the parts that we just went over and start to tie them together. Um, we call this the golden triangle. See how happy he is? Just happy. Now this is without even adjusting the outside. All right, moving on to the ears and the hair. See all these lines? These are all your structure lines. Real important. So if you notice, our character, even in one drawing, has a lot of, uh, a tremendous amount okay, let's of Let's go action. back briefly and review that this rhythm chart is so important. So see how all the shadows fall right on these rhythm charts? Okay, so notice how we go from shape to form. Now let's move on to the arms. 
Okay, this one's coming towards us, so we immediately go like that. Okay, let's move on to the hand. And there's a bunch of hands. Real important, you guys. Okay, and gals. I'm from LA, okay? So if I say if I say guys, I really mean gals. If I say gals, I mean gals. So if I say guys, I mean gals. If I get, but if I say ladies, I think ladies. But if I say dudes, I say guys. But guys is generic for everybody. How's that? Let's move on to torso. Okay, so you see how the torso fits over the gesture? That is so crucial. Okay, this one's fun. This is uh, this is kind of your, I don't know superhero villain type guy, you know, real burly. And here's our cast, the exact same pose, completely different characters, okay? Just by changing the shape, but you have to know what you're doing. You have to know what makes a female versus a male, what makes a somebody heavy versus somebody skinny, okay? All right, let's draw legs. Okay, you go ligament. Now what I want to do is, here's our box shape here. We're going to attach the leg to the bottom part of the box. And there's a bunch of legs working off of the standard. And last but not least, the feet. Now one of the core things about the feet that I want you guys to remember is that in order to get something down, working down below, start up top, up here at the, the thigh, at the quad. Then go to the calf, down here, and then into the foot. Okay. See how that works? Here we go. This is what they designed the toe from, right here. This is called a Tootsie Roll, okay? And I am absolutely convinced that this came before the toe because the toe has the term Tootsie in it. See? How cool is that? Look at that. There's your toe, Tootsie Toe, Tootsie Roll. You see? Now, to show you that it's all the same, there's your thumb. See? It's the same. Look at that. It actually and works. And what we're going to go into is the clothing. Yes. We can't have a naked Mozart. Okay. See how the, the neck fits inside and the scarf comes up. Okay. See how he's coming together? Okay. Let's move down and put in the pants. And we're still going to draw through. See, this is the key. We're going to draw from way up here and come down for the pants. There we go. So I think the most important part of dealing with the drapery is describing the mask. Welcome to Photoshop, ladies and gentlemen. The first thing I do is I scan my drawing. Okay, this is our tools palette right here. Okay, this is our history right here. And as we do things, it shows up in here as a list, and I'll show you that as we go. And these were our layers. And the layers are basically just like, if you hit right there, it's like a piece of tracing paper over our, our drawing, and then you can just keep adding more and more and more different uh, colors on top. But the cool part about it is, if you don't like it, just throw one of them away. See that circle right there? That's the paintbrush. And then when I hit Alt, it becomes the little picker. Well, here's our, here's our work set up. You can see it becomes very natural for you. Okay, here's our local values. And there's our shadows. Now in this step, what I'm doing is I'm starting to add in more of my darks. The next stage, which is gonna seem pretty strange to you guys, is gonna be adding our cool. See the detail? We're still using the same one brush. Just come over to your brush and grab one that looks fuzzy. Here's the process, and this is the original file from when he was painted. Remember, he was not painted for a commercial. He was painted for my, my, my class that I teach, okay? So, here's your drawing. Very detailed. Nice line work, because, you know, you could also use this for a, uh, you know, a line art, you know, in a commercial piece. The next is your local values, local color. Okay, see that? 
Next one, shadow shapes. You got that? And when you're putting those shadow shapes down, really take your time, you guys, because unless you have your values right, as Tweety Bird says, you're going to be so screwed, all right, when you're trying to balance them later. So take your time here. And then our details. So you see how he has those sleepy eyes? I don't like them. I thought he should have been crazier. So watch. There you go. And there you go. There's our finished painting.